instead of following forward, there there's an E-tank. So that's the sub-tank I was talking about. And then I can get behind him, because normally, normally you've got like this you know, whole chase sequence thing happening. Oh, that frame rate just yep. dropped like a new song. Hello, ladies and gentlemen and assorted varieties. We are playing one of the greatest video games of all time, and that is Mega Man X on the SNES. I'm Zach. And I'm Eli, and I have never played any Mega Man game. My Mega Man experience is Super Smash Bros. Mm -hmm. um, I've heard Mega Man X is very good. Um, so real quick. Like, I've, I've seen... Uh, well, go ahead. Right here, right here. This is the opening level. You know nothing about the game. As you go in, you, all you can do is move forward. Uh, and yeah, that guy, Pinwheel. Immediately, the first enemy you encounter, you have to either kill or jump over. So you immediately, the game is teaching you to do one of two things. Yeah, I've heard. And I've, in the pit right there, ugh, the, the game design in this game is impeccable. Yeah, I've heard nothing but great things about how this like this is an academic example of good game design. Mm -hmm. um, I know. Aaron from Game Grumps has talked about how great this game is uh, from a game design perspective. Um, it's a really good what's game. What's the, um, what's, cons like, I know Mega Man X does not mean Mega Man 10. Right. So how many Mega Mans were around before this game? Uh, they were a lot. So this was the basically the reboot for the franchise because uh, the franchise was primarily a, there was an NES franchise, right? Uh, classic, classic Mega Man. And really, I mean, the original games are great. They really are. They're fantastic. A lot of fun. All this game did that really changed the formula of Mega Man games was it added uh, wall jumping and, and uh, boosting. And we don't have the upgrade for the boost yet. We'll get that later. Uh, but when you see it it, it, those two tiny little things completely change how the game is played. Well, wasn't there... Weren't there a couple of games before this that were pretty lackluster? Yeah, I could be completely wrong. They started following... Like, Mega Man really got absorbed in its own... Uh, cookie... It got kind of cookie cutter, uh -huh. uh, where it, all the games kind of felt, started feeling pretty samey. Because there were a lot of them before Mega Man X. I don't remember how many exactly, but there were a lot. Uh... I almost missed that. And uh, these guys were always my favorite as a kid because you can ride on cards. <laughs> the wall jumping is a little weird. Like, this game doesn't wall jump the way, you know, you normally wall jump. Like, you can keep jumping on the same wall. Right, and you can It's strange, you can climb. and it almost, yeah, the ability to climb almost... I mean, I, I shouldn't say anything yet because it's still very early in the game, but it, it seems like that would be a little game-breaking. I mean, yeah, but the game's very linear. Like, it's... There are there are a lot of secrets in this game. Uh, like, Mega Man can get an armor upgrade in almost every level. Or I think it's every level. Uh, I'm trying to... It's been a long... I used to play this game, like, at least once a year, and it has been a long time since I last played it, because, you know, I got old, and I only have so much time in a day. But this guy, great villain. Great, you know, Boba Fett wannabe. Um, well, he's actually cooler than Boba Fett now that... Uh, now Book of Boba Fett. Now that Boba Fett's terrible. Right. Um, his name's Vile, uh, and he. this fight is unwinnable. I was going to say, are you not fighting back because this is a cutscene? Uh, I'm not fighting back because there's no reason to. Because um, there's no walls to jump off of, so he's just going to pile drive you through the everything. And you can't actually die there. Like, if you mess up, he can end up killing you instead of putting you in the little stun thing. Uh -huh. But... Uh, but now we get the plot, right? You worthless piece of scrap metal. Did you think you could defeat me? What's no. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, this is when somebody comes. Yeah, yeah. I, re I remember seeing Aaron talk about this. Yeah, Zero, who I thought was so friggin' cool. Um, so what is the... Well, I guess I'm not powerful enough to defeat him. Take it away. X. Is this a guy or a girl? It's a guy. X, you shouldn't expect to defeat him. He is designed to be a war machine. Remember, you have not reached full power yet. If you use all the abilities you were designed with, you should become stronger. This is pretty slow yep. text. You may even become... 
Come as powerful Too as fast. Me. I'll <laughs> scout ahead and collect as much information on Sigma's fortress as I can. So, I'll meet up with you when you get there. See you later. So that's zero. X. <laughs> I know you can going. do it. He just keeps talking. Uh, so I love this because zero's totally BA, and immediately from the get go, you have the goal of the game: get stronger, get as strong as zero, maybe, and take down the bad guy. So what's the the I guess Mega Man lore? Like, what is Mega Man? You know, like someone like Samus is a bounty hunter, Mario is right. a plumber. What what's Mega Man? So Mega Man is a reploid, uh, which is an android, basically uh, designed to imitate real human life. Uh, these are the Mavericks, um, and they, the Mega Man lore is very annoying and confusing, and it changed all the time. Um, but essentially, they were infected with a virus that made them all go bad. Okay. Uh, and the virus was created by Doctor Wily who is the counterpart to Dr. Light, who is the hero, the good guy in, in this series. Um, and for the sake of speed, so you can play any these guys in any order. Um, okay. But I, I happen to know what the ideal order is, uh, so I'm just going to play it in that order. Uh, so this is Chill Penguin. He's, the, he's very easy as a first boss, but we don't play Chill Penguin first because he's easy. We play him first because he gets us the dash upgrade, uh, which okay. opens up a whole bunch of the game. Okay. Uh, but Mega Man, like classic Mega Man, is all about like all the all the boss. When you defeat a boss, you get their gun, and then some bosses are weaker. Some bosses are weaker to some weapons. Um, so it's like all about replayability and finding the ideal path to kill somebody or uh, bosses and stuff. Uh, and it's really fantastic. Really great boss design. Really great art. Really great music. Perfect game. No, um, no notes. So this doesn't have. Like abilities unlock portions of the map, like a like a Metroid Mania, no. Metroidvania. Excuse me. No, it's it's uh, it's similar in that you have upgrades, and there's only like there's sections of the map that I won't just won't be able to access without uh, the upgrades. But there's also like depending on which bosses you have defeated, it actually changes each map. So like uh, this, the floor here is frozen here, but I believe if we kill the if we defeat the uh, the fire uh, maverick. It changes it to lava. Uh, there's another area that's underwater, and if we beat him, it changes one of the other maps. There's just a lot of, a lot of overlap, a lot of replayability. And mm -hmm. here's our first upgrade capsule. Every single level has one of these, if I remember correctly. Um, so you've come, X. I gave you the ability to choose your own path in life, and I hoped the world would allow you to choose a peaceful one. This is Santa Claus. But now it seems that you are destined to fight. So this is Doctor Light. Because I thought the world might need a new champion. I have hidden capsules like this one. If you find and use them, you'll be able to increase your powers beyond anything the world has ever known. Step into this capsule and receive an acceleration system to boost your speed. Good luck, X. And so his name's X. His name isn't Mega Man? Correct. Uh, Why is he called Mega Man in Super Smash Bros? Because uh, the Mega Man in Super Smash Bros. is the original Mega Man. Mega Man X is a different Mega Man in the, uh, in the canon. In the canon, it's, it's a different Mega Man. So now I've got the dash boots, which let me, let me dash, uh, which is so sick. Like, And immediately the game punishes you for dashing. Um, <laughs> but it's just like that one, that that and the wall jumping just, make, just completely changes the whole game. Uh-huh. Um, because it makes it so much faster, makes it a lot more fun, it makes it so much less of a bullet hell to fight bosses because you actually have more maneuverability options. Um, and then you also get powered suits, which are sick. There's so much They sick don't run stuff. off a of fusion core like in like in Fallout. No. You can, they will break and it and like I'll encounter yeah, there he is. Uh, you can encounter other uh, enemies with power suits. Could you not kill the enemy if you didn't have a power suit? You definitely could. Uh, oh, okay. It would be hard, and but you definitely could. Also, if you don't have a power suit, he's not in the... the I like how that snowball got bigger. The enemies aren't in the power suits uh, when you first encounter them, if you're not in one. But as soon as they see you, they'll run up and, and jump in it. So you have like a second to like go get it, mm -hmm. go take them out or something. Um, and here we have the boss room. Now, this is the one holdover from the original games where when you... In the original games, if you, it wasn't seamless. So every screen you passed, you'd do that little load thing. Mm -hmm. And I really like how they did it in this one because it makes it feel impactful. Yeah, it, it was like pay down. attention to right. what's about to happen. Right, it slows everything down. Uh, so this is Chill Penguin. Um, he's the easiest boss in the game by far, uh, and I'm pro which means I'm probably going to die to him. <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> That's why I like doing hard things like... like uh, I don't do karaoke very often, but when I do, it's like, I want to sing hard songs. That way, when I mess it up, it's <laughs> like, 
Oh, well, that was a hard song. Like, you did pretty good for, yeah. for playing something hard. Um, talking about Fallout, or, yeah, Fallout reminded me of Bethesda, which reminded me of Starfield. Starfield! I watched some of the... Well, I ended up watching all of the direct, but at first, I didn't want to watch any of the direct, because I didn't want anything spoiled. I just wanted to mm -hmm. enjoy the game when it came out. Mm -hmm. And then I watched. Oh. oh, well, there you go. There you go. I told. I said. I told you I'd die the first round. Then I watched like twenty minutes of. Oh well, at least it. Yeah, the, you get a checkpoint. Starts at every boss you right room. in front of it. Unfortunately, like if you, with the boss weapons, they all have limited ammo, and mm -hmm. you, your ammo doesn't refill between deaths. So if I had used my. Oh, I, I see what you're it, saying. I thought you meant that as like. The ammo that he's spending shooting at you oh, is no. eating into what you can get later. Um, but I watched like 20 minutes of the of the Starfield Direct and was like, I am overwhelmed by the amount of things I'm excited about. I <laughs> have to stop watching. <laughs> and then uh, the other day I was like, you know what? I, I can't not watch this anymore. I, and I ended up finishing the Direct. I, I'm almost crying because I'm so excited about this game. <laughs> uh, it looks so good. It looks like it looks a lot like Elite Dangerous. I don't know if you ever played Elite Dangerous. Mm. I love it. Um, I don't with play Elite, it very I, often because it you, you can kind of run out of stuff to do in right. Elite Dangerous. This looks yeah. like it'll have all the best things about go. Elite Dangerous, but with you know the Bethesda spin on it. Mm. You know, a lot more stuff than like the ship combat looks exactly the same. Mm -hmm. um, I like the ship power system how you know you can have your life support powered up you can have your shield your weapons but you can't have everything powered up at the same time so you right. have to decide how you want to yeah your power load out to go so i get shotgun ice which is the ice uh the little ice shoot and this game didn't use like save points like it didn't save it to your console instead you had to copy this code uh if you hmm. ever wanted to save it and you could actually eventually figure out like how to cheat it where like what each number meant and signified um, and how to make your own codes and stuff. Uh, so, ah. so here we're going to move on to Spark Mandrake or Spark Mandrill. I don't remember. Spark something. So uh, is this all there is to the game? You just have these eight levels that you got to do? So once you beat all these bosses, it unlocks the final boss, which is Sigma, who is the original source. Sigma of male. Sigma male. Um, but yeah, pretty much. Uh, and so... Those little electric sparky things on the ground, those wouldn't. There's a boss if I defeat them, those aren't here. Uh, Are you not using your ice because of the limited ammo? Uh, well, I can. So you can. The little blue capsules that drop. Um, I think I, I think I actually missed an upgrade. But uh, the little blue capsules can I that go drop. Backwards? Drop random. Oh, I can go backwards here. I can't proceed here. Probably gonna die into the level. Um. So we get a cool little maze thing here. That's all. I, I just wanted to show you the maze. That's really all. That's why I went that way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, um, but enemies can randomly drop the materials you need. I think I need the boomerang to get the uh, heart piece on this level. To increase your health capacity? Yeah. I like how this lets you go backwards. A lot like Super Mario World. Yeah. Ooh, something important. What was that? Oh, it's an enemy. enemy? Yep. That, then, remind, that reminds me of Pokemon, but I can't remember the name of the Pokemon it reminds me of. I'll put a picture on the screen for Pokemon nerds. <laughs> oof, oof, oof. Yeah, I'm close. Close to the end. I see the light. I think. No, maybe not. I think there's a, there's a section. I know there's... I think there's a section, if I remember correctly, where you can drop down and get the uh, get an upgrade. Oh yeah, mini boss. Uh, You're almost dead though. Yep. So we'll see how this goes. It kind of um, looks like a Metroid a little bit, or not Metroid. What do you call the that? Yeah, the Metroid, right? The little brain mouths and uh, in, in, in the the monsters. Is that what I'm talking? Is that right? Am I? Yeah. Okay. That's right. The uh, the ones that's that. A, that's what that reminds me of. Ah. That's it. That's okay. Even though it looks nothing like one. I don't know why I thought that. 
It's the the, the bubble. Which... I still have never beat a Metroid game. I've played a good bit of Super Metroid. That right there fills up your. Uh, that's that's the pickups that gotcha. give you uh, ammo. Which I'm annoyed because like, why didn't any of you drop health earlier? I've played a good bit of Super Metroid, um, and a good bit of Metroid Dread. I never beat Metroid Dread, but it's it's really fun. Yeah, I, I've my brother has Metroid Dread, uh, and he said he's promised he'll lend it to me whenever he finishes it, but he has not yet. So I don't so have a physical version; otherwise, I would loan it to you. Um, Same with that Prime. Yeah, I haven't played any of the Primes either. I know everybody's excited because didn't they announce Prime 4? So Prime 4 has been announced for too long uh, at this point. <laughs> it, was, it was. Yeah, but didn't they kind of like reconfirm it recently? They confirmed that they'd restarted development, which okay. means they basically just started over from the beginning, uh, which you know sucks, but it also is nice to know that they're actually still working on it. Wow, my nose itches. <laughs> Uh, and I believe if I have, I think the the there's a particular boss item that like works really well against this this guy, but I don't have it right now. Well, at least like the water bubbles that drop don't hurt you; they just slow you down. That's less punishing. Right. So, fun fact about ah about the NES uh, is it was actually the NES games actually got upgrades throughout their life, right? Uh, where they added chips um, to them to give them better features, right? So, like, like a graphics historically, card. yeah, historically or uh, famously, the Star Fox game had, had the FX chip or the Super FX chip or whatever it was called, um, which essentially let let it do imitation 3D modeling on the SN on the SNES uh, by basically just adding an extra processor via mm -hmm. the, via the game cartridge, um, and that that cart that feature is what lets that uh, what let that water bubble be displayed because that's you could tell it kind of like didn't fit in uh, with the with the ah you jerk with the aesthetic um, uh -huh. and that's why huh I didn't even like notice anything weird about it if you had mentioned that earlier I would have been looking I don't notice things like that usually right off the top of my head right right there's the so I can you make that jump I might I I know. It, yeah, there we go. Yeah. If you're really good, you can make that jump. Normally, you'd, you'd use your boomer, the boomerang item to uh, to get that, but I don't have that, so I'd rather not have to retrace my steps and replay one. Uh, but there's heart heart tanks, which are those, and then there's sub tanks, which are uh, essentially health packs that you can use at any time. And I really like how they implemented uh, sub tanks in this game, uh, because in the original, it was just like a consumable item, but in this one, it, it takes any excess health pickups you find. It puts them in the the, the sub tank until the sub tank's full. Oh, that's that's actually really smart. Wish other games right. did that. Here we go. I can link to the past when I keep accidentally picking up parts I don't need. <sighs> it's hard. Like I know we've talked about Link to the Past being a perfect Zelda game, mm -hmm. but the more I think about it, the harder it is for me to call it a perfect Zelda game when. Like in the most recent episode where it's like, hey, uh, we got to go collect this book that the game doesn't tell you you need. It's all about exploring. Yeah, I, it's so hard for me to call it a perfect <laughs> game, though. Like This right here is why uh, boss weapons are important, because normally I would fight this guy, but now I'm just trapping him in a animation loop, and mm -hmm. uh, yeah, he's dead now. Just cheesing it. So uh, it doesn't freeze every boss like it does him, but this this weapon happens to be his weakness. Uh, so it, it, it wrecks him. Very nice. And what do you get from him? We get the spark shot, which is a little, that purple blast yeah, yeah, he yeah. shot out. And we'll use that against the uh, armored armadillo. Armored Electric armadillo. Electric spark. And there's our code. If anyone wants to, screen, wants to screenshot and play along with us, or you can you know, just play the game on your own. It's worth playing. Um, armored armadillo has my favorite power-up to use, personally. Uh, it's which is the rolling shield. It's just a lot of fun to use. So, what do you know? What those different numbers in the save? I did screen at one point in my life. Mean? Like, does it mean like oh, like one of the numbers is the amount of weapons you've collected, and one number is like power ups you've collected, like stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, it's like how many bo what bosses you've killed, how many you've killed, 
uh, where your progression is, uh, that sort of fun stuff, yeah. All right, so right here, if I do this, instead of following forward, there there's an E-tank. So that's the sub-tank I was talking about. And then I can get behind him, because normally, normally you've got like this you know, whole chase sequence thing happening. Oh, that frame rate just yep. dropped like a new song. Oh, come on, kill him, kill him, kill him. Oh, so if you kill him in time, you can get that little thing right. Th oh, actually, never mind. I can't get that. Thing. I guess I can't kill him. I don't remember. I don't remember how yeah, it seems it. like you probably weren't supposed to kill him. It seems like he was supposed to kind of bridge that. But what do I know? I don't, I don't know. Uh, these guys I like because you can farm them for uh, health. Uh, there's one that's like a big, he's a, it's a, looks different. It looks like a shiny, uh, to refer back to Pokemon. And he actually has, he's an enemy type that has like the highest drop rate of any enemy in the game, uh, for one-ups. So if you need to farm one-ups, there's a spot. I don't remember where it is. I think it's on this map where you can just cheese it. It does slightly annoy me that you can't aim up. Like there's no directional aiming like in, right. like in, uh, Metroid. But, I mean, it's a small gripe. And I'm not even playing the game. I shouldn't be complaining <laughs> about anything. Like, you can't even, like, squat and, and aim. No. Or squat and shoot. So when you crouch. Die, That's you the word I was looking for. You can't crouch and shoot. Right. And spikes are instant death. Okay. Uh, no matter what, how much health you have. Uh, and this one, I believe. Oh, <laughs> crap. <laughs> yep. You landed on a spike. I did. Oh, well, oh, that's it doesn't nice. start. That's a nice little checkpoint. Start, start oh, you yeah, far back that. at all. But I definitely want to get up in front of him um, for reasons that'll shortly be revealed. Okay. Uh, there we go. Because if, if, he, if I'm behind him, he destroys, see, he destroys this shelf and makes it impossible and for me to get And you wouldn't have been there. able to wall jump. Yeah. And that's just something I know because I've played the game a lot. Um, I do like this, like... And this kind of minecart thing that you ride on that just instantly kills everything. Yeah. And this right Man, here. Man, <laughs> this is just it's struggling. overloading Hardware the is game. Hardware struggling. struggling. Um, and that actually, so that sequence right there, at the top of that cliff, there's a, there's a health pack. And uh, if you have beaten all the bosses, have collected every upgrade, and we'll probably do this in this playthrough. Uh, if you collect that health pack, then die. Then collect that health pack, then die, and do that four or five times uh there will be an upgrade there on the on the f fifth time so because i hit him with the shock he drops his, his, yeah, armor, drops his armor uh which means that he can't use one of his abilities and he just takes more damage um and he and he has that unique animation what do you mean unique animation of taking uh, of damage him, of of uh oh i'm about to die do i have anything in my something i do do i use it nope Oh, I think it has to be full before I can use it, actually. Oh, it. that would make sense. It's okay. I should be able to. Okay, I almost just died just there. There Oof. we go. I thought he was going to be, in, like, invulnerable as soon as he coiled up and started rolling <laughs> around. And if, and I get his... So his spinning, bouncing around the room, I get that as a projectile. Okay. Uh, it's super good. Well... Yeah, I think this is a good place to call it. Yeah, we'll stop there. This looks like it's going to be a short game. Yeah, yeah, it's, it is. Because, again, I know the ideal path, and I've played it a million times. And like I you're almost like three-eighths of the way through. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that's two bosses down, or three bosses down. Uh, there are six or seven more to go, because I know once you beat them, you got to fight Sigma. And I think you fight Sigma... I think there's too many bosses and then you fight him on the third level uh but yeah we'll uh join us next time uh, uh we'll play more Mega Man. i love this game we'll probably play x2 and x3 if we don't play it together i'll definitely do some solo content on it because i do love those games see we'll you, next see you guys time. later ciao